everything. Okay, welcome all. This is Coach Bright Kumalo. Um, today we are talking about branding. We've done um, quite a number of courses during this lockdown. Some were recorded, some were not recorded. And then today um, our focus is branding. Um, we spoke about online tools, um, I think it was last weekend, um, where we spoke about uh, you know, using Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we focus mainly on Facebook and then using a blog, a YouTube, we created some YouTube channels, those who didn't have YouTube channels, and then we spoke about WhatsApp. So we're not going to go into detail in any of those. We'll talk about branding just on top. And then we spoke about your personal wall. Like if you go to my wall, Bright Kumalo or Mkanyele Kumalo, I've got two walls. Um, then that's where I can be talking about my thing. So we're going to talk about your personal wall, uh, maybe a group, a page, blog, or YouTube channel. Okay, so um, let us proceed. Uh, well, we spoke about Zoom, go to meeting Skype. We are using Zoom now as an online tool, and you can use it again in your branding. Um, we also did create Zooms because some people just know how to get into Zoom, but they don't know how to host a Zoom meeting. Uh, some go into go to meeting, they don't know how to host a, a go to meeting or Skype and stuff like that. So with this pandemic, we need to learn to use these tools, um, but not only because of the pandemic. Um, just imagine if you were to go uh, to TRC and then come back and then go to Nigeria, come back and then go to USA, how much money will you be spending in terms of trying to build your business? Because most of the time when we're building our businesses, we focus on the people around us. We focus on the people that know us. Yes, it's okay. You can start with the warm market. That's what is called the people that you know. But maybe the people that are going to build a business with you and make millions with you are those that you don't know. So how do you get to the people that you don't know? You need to brand yourself. You need to be known out there. You, the brand needs to go out there. Okay, so that's what we'll be talking about today. So uh, maybe the question you may be asking yourself now, in terms of branding, who do I brand? Do I brand myself? Do I brand the company? Do I brand the products? Do I use the money as my branding? That's a very nice question. It may be difficult, but it's very easy. Um, I've been to many network marketing companies over the years. Uh, some went, some I left them. Some of the marketing plans or the products were not what I expected, if I can put it that way, because some company cultures may not be in line with uh, what you want. But imagine now, if you were to brand that company, then people will start liking that company and not you. If you move to company B, it's not going to be easy for you to move with your audience or with your prospects, your downlines. So to answer that question, companies come, companies go, you may leave the companies. So in terms of branding, you need to brand yourself. You are the brand, so it starts there. The brand is you, you need to brand yourself. So let's remember that one as, as we go. And then we'll talk about um, the ways you can brand yourself. Like I said, it's going to be a quick session. Maybe in 15 minutes time, we're going to be done, uh, which is okay. Um, in terms of even going back to it, it's going to help you. So you brand yourself. Um, the question you might be having now, how do I brand myself? I'm new in network marketing. I am new in whatever you're venturing in, because the information which we are giving you right now, like I was talking to another leader, maybe let's say she decides um, 
to do a coaching program or training, pro uh, training program, maybe linked to some other uh, guru somewhere, she has to brand herself and promote herself, even though she's not an aspect. So you, you, you're going to use the information that you have, and then you're going to do some small research to gather content together that you're going to use. Then you're going to be passing this content all the time. Because I know sometimes if you brand yourself with a company, um, then you'll be talking about the company, you'll be talking about ProSell every day, you'll be talking about Protect on a daily basis. That's okay. But today we'll just shift it a little bit in your favor. So if, if you check like uh, me as a, a brand, um, I decided to be teaching some basics of network marketing. Then I'm branding myself as a coach and I've done this for many years. Sometimes I, I would do it for free, like now it's completely free. Uh, sometimes I'll be charging. Okay, I know most people don't want to pay, but if you want free things, then you're going to get half the information, which is not going to be very useful. So you need to even buy books, buy CDs, or join some programs where you're going to learn more about doing a particular thing that you want to do. So as a leader, you need to be growing all the time. Like if I wasn't growing, um, I could have been stuck and say, hey, you know, I'm in my 50s, this is for my children or whatever the case is. Maybe even my children are not interested in that type of information. I know there are some who say, hey, I'm old. And then I ask, how old are you? I'm 40 years old, I'm 35 years old. I'd say, goodness me. You're still way too young. Try to be learning so that you move with the times. So in terms of building uh, yourself, you need to get the direction, brand direction, right? So in terms of the brand direction, uh, this is where you choose now. What am I going to use? Am I going to use the product or Am I going to use the money? Am I going to use the marketing plan? Okay, so to choose that carefully, like I decided to be a coach because I like sharing information. So it was as simple as all that. I love sharing information at any given time. If you come anywhere close to me, like one day this other leader uh, was talking and then we were walking. Um, so I told her one thing which changed her business forever. I told her, if you want to grow your business, you need to be standing in front of your team. And then she says, oh, I've never realized that. So I explained the benefits of standing in front of your team. So if you stand in front of your team, it's part of branding yourself, first of all. You are giving your team confidence that they are, they've joined the right person, right? No one wants to join you know, a losing team. Unfortunately, in network marketing, people can end up moving and leaving you or going to other companies. Some become unscrupulous and say, come and join under me. I seriously do not do that. I've got a lot of information, lots of uh, training materials. I can train someone who has never done network marketing at all and they become a superstar. I've produced a lot of millionaires in network marketing. Well, um, like I was saying earlier on, I was uh, in insurance. In insurance also, I taught people how to sell, even on the, over the telephone, how to make appointments. But I wouldn't say, and please guys don't do that. Do not take other people's teams and say, okay, come to me, so to come to me, I'll do that. Please don't do that, it's unscrupulous. God will punish you and you don't wanna be punished. Okay, so we're saying um, you need to be passionate about what you are talking about. So, like I think you can hear, I am passionate about talking or sharing the information in terms of growing or understanding 
your network marketing business. Because if you do not understand it, it's not going to be easy for you to do the business. So now how do you uh, see your passion? How do you identify your passion? Okay, maybe we can talk. Please unmute yourselves. Let, let, let us talk about um, Stanley, unmute yourself. I see you are smiling there. It's an activity. Um, how do you identify your passion? Okay, who wants to talk, Apalane? Leaders, let's talk together. We are saying you, you need to talk about something which you are passionate about. You're going to talk about something which you love in terms of the business that you are doing. So how do you do that? Yvonne. Oh, your mic is not on. Stanley, um, unmute yourself and tell us. Hi, Coach Bright. How are you, sir? Wonderful. Thank you. I'm okay. No, I just joined now, so I wanted to listen first, then I will, I will come in later on. Please. Okay. All, all right. But it, it's simple. You, you are right where we are. We are talking about having a brand direction. So the direction, goodness, will this one last? Uh, sorry, I'm in a meeting. Please drop. So we're talking about the brand direction in terms of picking up uh, the passion, the thing that you'll be talking about, you know, as a foot in the door, like the key that you'll open your business with. Okay, so you can talk. Uh, where is this? So since so your, your hand was up, we can talk. We are, we, it's a discussion, guys. Uh, Leako. Hi, leaders. Hi, you're welcome. Um, yes, I'm sorry for the bit. Um, I think we don't have time because I'm writing, but um, um, I think the first thing that you can start with is um, tell yourself that you need to begin with the end in mind. Yes, like. You join even if you join let's say you join on a smaller package like you join power live on a smaller package 600 rent but you need to have that end that bigger end in mind that you know right in few minutes in few months time i want to at least be on a mobile package i want to be on an infinite rank like this for me is begin with the end in mind or, 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 or right. Um, let's take it a step further. How do you use that now in trying to get people to join you? Um, like I say, um, network marketing is not an overnight thing. Um, it's not a get rich um, quick thing. So what you need to do is you need to have a goal. You need to draw up a goal. So that, that's basically what I use when I'm with my people that with my people that let's draw up our goal and let's follow up on that. So when you draw up a goal, it means you are starting now, but you have your end in mind already. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. There's some Samsung Galaxy. 
Samsung Galaxy J1 2016. Oh, he's not hearing us. Okay, who else want to share? How, how can you um, like brand yourself and use one particular thing, either the money or you know the product? Remember, we're using this one in social media. Something which you're going to attract your team with. Queen? Hello, Queen. Oh, guys, we need to participate. And then we, we see that we are going somewhere. But anyway, um, yes, Galax, you can talk. Your hand is up. Ntuli. Nogus Ntuli. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, I'm not sure if you guys are able to hear me. I'm struggling with signal here. We can hear you. We can see you. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. I think the things that we need to look at, or maybe the things that I'm looking at when when approaching someone uh, about the business, I am I actually take advantage of the current situation. You look at the health of the people, how much are we affected in our society? And then looking at our products and their benefits, you are able to introduce them, taking the advantage of the health of our people. And then at this moment, we are facing the COVID-19. You take that as an advantage as well, because people are losing jobs. They're no longer able to go to work some are not earning any money at the moment. You take that current situation into consideration as well. You actually introduce the opportunity for them to earn from home. And looking at, the, at someone who's employed, most of us are employed, but I think 99% uh, of us are not satisfied with the income we're getting from, from our current employers. So introducing the business opportunity, I normally take all those ad ad current situation advantage into my advantage and then introduce the, the business to people. Okay, Do, are, are you using um, online methods, you know, like Facebook and stuff? Yes. Okay, are you writing uh, some stuff on Facebook? Okay, remember, guys, I said we need to be friends on Facebook. Let's try to be all friends, like each other, take, do as much as we can so that others are attracted. Let's comment on um, what, is, what someone has posted. It also boosts, um, you know, our pages and our profiles. All right, thank you very much for that one. I had said 15 minutes, the 15 minutes is going, uh, but let's just go here. Um, and it's a small activity which we're doing uh, just now. So now, if you want to promote, let's say, the product, then you will talk about what you love about the product. Maybe it's the nutrition part. Maybe it's the fitness part. And then you uh, try to attract people using that one. And then maybe if you want to talk about um, money, you can talk about financial freedom. You can talk about lifestyle. Uh, so you talk around those areas. Then once you do that, you'll be creating your content maybe every day or every week. I think weekly is fine. Uh, every week they know that hey, you are going to get some valuable information. Uh, this information is concerning maybe our health. Then you'll be posting about our, your, the health or you are talking about lifestyle. So if you're talking about lifestyle, you post about lifestyle, you create stories and contents around lifestyle. It could be travel. It could be having fun with your family, having all the money mm -hmm. to spend around. So you are actually branding yourself around that. And when you are posting, people are liking, you need to convert those ones to come into your business 
because uh, most of the times people are saying, hey, how am I going to get uh, people to sign under me? Like, you know, yesterday, through what I'm doing now, uh, through the posts that I do, I just got two people signing up, which is quite okay. And the, the focus on that... Uh, sorry, mute yourself, leader. The focus there was just health. I talked st strictly health, corona. Uh, what happens with the corona when it gets into your system, how you can alleviate it. Then all of a sudden, boom, someone has joined us. Okay. All right, uh, let's continue and finish. Our 15 minutes is uh, up. So this will be just a, a summary, uh, the step in uh, branding yourself. So you need to portray an image or perception, right? How people will be thinking about you. There's some hands up. Okay. Like uh, one of the leaders said, Leako said, you need to have an end in mind. So yes, you need to have an end in mind. After they finished using your product or they've joined the, uh, the business, what experience should they have? And then you need to be building on that promise and you need to be communicating that promise all the time. So if you are communicating uh, more health, you need to be focusing on health and then if you're focusing on health, like what I normally say, okay, if you don't sign up, when you pay me 900 grand uh, for the course, but if you sign up, you pay 1,125 and you get two boxes, you've got this ailment, you've been suffering from it for the last, I don't know, like um, even yesterday I was asking someone, he was saying he's diabetic and uh, now he's suffering from and a whole lot of other problems. So I was saying, yes, our body systems, uh, they are interlinked. So one system affects the other. So now, in order to benefit, if you buy one store, it will be helpful. Since I'm talking more about health, the food that you are eating, you know, like um, the training we had, was it yesterday or day before, where we were talking about pesticides and sugar as a problem. So I was telling him that, okay, you have problems related to food and you need to correct them with food and you have to be eating this food on a daily basis so you continue communicating whatever you have chosen and become consistent now the other problem when you are starting first of all maybe you've opened the facebook um page or is it your wall right going back to the beginning Maybe it's in your personal world. You are busy posting and no one is commenting. Or it's your YouTube channel. It doesn't matter. It could be your blog. It's your YouTube channel. You've done videos. Like uh, uh, we're doing a video now. After doing the video, um, you send it. You check after a day, there's only one view. After 10 days, there's only three views. Never mind. Continue. Be consistent, be talking, uh, be linking like the other leader was saying with the current situation. Uh, what is happening in the current situation? They are saying this virus affects those with low immune. Then you tie in with our product. You take the project and put it in and look at all the fantastic um, things related to immune. And then you're busy posting on your wall. You're busy posting on your wall. Or um, posting on a group or on a page. It's entirely up to you. Like I said in the beginning, you are the brand. You brand yourself. And it's up to you what you put on your personal wall. Then you can have your own page. And then in that page, uh, yes, you can talk, Luaka. I see your hand up. Oh, Queen, we didn't hear you. Leako, unmute yourself and talk. Okay. Um, I, I, I hope it's understandable there. So you've created your page. 
and then that page is particularly talking about health or is talking about yes talk hello Queen, you wanted to say something uh, uh, talk we couldn't hear you the first time Okay, co coach, can I, um, add, um, can I suggest that we uh, allow you to finish with your presentation and then we can take uh, questions and comments at the end oh. to, uh, so that we don't disturb the flow of the presentation. The presentation is, fi is finished. Uh, I'm wrapping up, that's why I'm, I'm back on the first slide. But okay, um, thank you so much, Lita Nomkosi, Lovgazi, the Queen. Um, all right, now talking about your wall, you've got your personal wall. We covered that on another session. We're not going to uh, cover this year. You've got a group, you've got a page. So you can have a page specifically talking about health issues. Then you promote your page. We spoke about promotions again. Uh, we did a lot of things, including boosting or writing stories which is content management. So your page must have a lot of content. And to get content these days is very easy. You just go on Google, you check, and then you tie up your content to your particular story, which you are creating. And then, yeah, it continues like that. So now we are going to, um, to talk. We are talking about branding, and then branding is the promotion of a company or a product by means of advertising and then distinctive designs. Okay, there's also branding in cows, that's why I put it there. Those who grew up in villages, you know, you heat up an iron and then you brand the cow. It's not the branding which we are talking about. So now uh, we can discuss maybe in the next five to ten minutes and we close. Thank you very much. Leaders. Okay, maybe while, while we're still on that, you know, just to add on, uh, not spoiling everything. Now, in terms of branding, if you brand yourself together with a company or a product in your personal world, then tomorrow we see you posting another thing or another company. It causes a lot of confusion to us who are watching. It also confuses your prospects because some of your prospects, um, like there's one who's been following me since last year. And now I'm with another company, but I'm still talking at least the same language. Um, I'm talking health, I'm talking stem cells. So he says, but I see a new name. Is it still the same thing? I'm interested. You said you're going to come and see me in Rustenberg but you haven't come yet. So I was saying, no, I cannot come now. Let's do it online. So imagine the confusion that you can create if on your personal wall, daily you are posting this company, the next week you are posting this company, and you are just saying, join me now, it's got a lot of money, join this one, it's got a, a lot of health. You're going to lose a lot of people that way. So. If you are that type of a person, I know some of you joined us here in Power Life and you are doing other things, that's okay. Multiple income streams, and I like Power Life. They're not saying if you are doing something else, don't come and join us. You are welcome. So since you are welcome, that's when you can use a page, not your wall, to promote. And then that page will be specific. Like what we are saying now, you can have a page specifically for health, you can have a page specifically for money, which is lifestyle, and then you keep them separate and you use them as channels or funnels of getting, you know, some prospects coming to you. Then how you deal with them, that's a topic for another day. All right, thank you leaders. Let's, uh, let's talk and wrap up then. Lita and Dovgazi.
Hi, leadership. Okay, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much for this powerful uh, presentation. It will surely, surely help us a lot. We, we are on a journey where we are learning a lot of uh, things, and I'm sure that um, most of the people are still, um, you know, uh, uh, processing everything that you have spoken about. Uh, can I just uh, ask that uh, if there's any, because I've seen, uh, I, I saw that you were recording the session. Yes. So I'm sure you will be sharing the link so that even those who came in late, like myself, can be able to go through uh, where you started and so on. Can I humbly request that uh, we are allowed to uh, have follow-up questions even on our groups? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, mm. thank you. I would also like to re -go, uh, um, go through everything myself as well. So okay. I'm sure there's a lot of people, because when you started, I was on another Zoom. Oh, so sorry. I'm sure maybe, yeah, yes. Okay. All right, you know, th thank you very uh, thank much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Coach Bright. Uh, this is valuable information. We really, really appreciate you sharing your expertise and your experience with us it's okay. it comes in highly appreciated thank you very much wonderful yeah thank you and thank you for that if you want to uh, put this together because like i said um we're just taking it on top but you need to understand how to brand yourself uh leader matandis hi my leader hi welcome hi yeah no i'm just listening i'm just following through the discussions my leader but yeah <clears throat> i agree with everything that you are sharing branding is very important but also i think uh, what i can contribute with my leader is that when you do the branding uh, about your your business even on so uh, on facebook i think the important thing is first uh, to identify your target group or the audience yes. that you, yes, yeah, whenever you you are advertising about your business uh, and stuff like that. I know, uh, like myself, Mina, sometimes I would, uh, you know, talk about the products and then give a little bit of a testimony of what the product has done to me. So it depends on that particular day, what is it that I want to share to my audience, you know? It, yeah. it doesn't have to be about money all the time because sometimes some people will be interested in the product and when they see that the product is working for them, they may also be, uh, end up being interested in making money in the business, you know? Mm. I, I actually saw that it on your wall, was it on Wednesday? People who join who join the network a person would say i'm only interested in the product but then as time goes by when a person can see that it's not just the product yes the product is working but on the other hand a person would end up being interested in making money in the business as well absolutely i'm saying i saw something nice on your wall where you are talking about um the pro lady Yes, yeah. yes, yes, that, yes, that was that was powerful, yeah, and, and you're, you're giving them and a you choice. You know what, Lida Brown, you know what, uh, Lida Bright, I'm sorry. Okay. That post of mine about the pro lady, I was saying it doesn't have to be a person joining the business, but I was saying if ladies can uh, try and use the pro lady, even if they are not do, uh, joining the business, but guess what? Just yeah. that post, just that post, it was uh, able to help me find somebody. In fact, I got two people who were attracted by that post and they joined the business. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Yeah. So it, it depends. Sometimes you, you don't have to say exactly, come join my business. You know, you can come up with different strategies or how you are phrasing your post on Facebook, but you know that, okay, as much as you are saying, you're not forcing people or you are not saying they must join the business, but you tell them that if they are part of this business, this is what they can benefit, especially if they are using the products. 
So, yeah, it, it depends. You know, you strategize how you phrase your, your statement that you post on Facebook. And definitely, you know, sometimes even if we don't get to those likes or comments, you will get one or two people who will contact you privately to say, I saw something like this. Tell me more about it. I'm interested. You know, actually, I've got a lot of those, even some from overseas saying, okay, I see this post. Uh, someone says, okay, I was watching your YouTube channel. I'm like, okay, mm. how did you get to see my YouTube channel? Okay, I saw yeah. this. How do you make money there? I want to be a part of the business. So like you are saying, mm. yeah, let's just keep on communicating. Let's be consistent. Because mm. someone wants to see, are you really sure? Are you going to be with this company for the next coming two years? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, my leader. And also, the last thing that I want to say, my leader, I know I even said to this in some of our WhatsApp groups, let us not be ashamed. Oh, you muted yourself. I'm sorry about that. No, what I wanted to say is to encourage all of our distributors, please let us not be ashamed of telling people about our products. Our products are very powerful, guys. They are very Yes, anything that you want to say on your Facebook page, but you can, you know, throw something about the product. Definitely, there will be somebody, one or two people will come to your inbox and ask you for more information about that. Let's preach our products, guys. They're very, very good and powerful. I've seen them. I'm using our products and they're amazing. All right, th thank you so much, uh, Lita. Who is here? Um, Lita Nogulunga. Yes, my leader, how are you? We're good, thank you. I'm also good. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, afternoon, leader. Afternoon, leader. Afternoon. Yeah. No, on a personal note, um, I'm learning quite a lot because I personally feel when it comes to branding, I sort of like haven't found a proper strategy on how to brand myself and put myself out there. So this will come in way handy, way like I have to. I did create a Facebook page, but I feel I'm not posting it or I'm not doing enough in terms of uh, growing that uh, page but otherwise i do advertise my business i feel i'm using whatsapp more than i'm using facebook okay all right yeah no it's okay if whatsapp is working they say if it's not broken do not fix it um but what you need to do is to have content we'll talk about content marketing one of the days um i don't know which weekend maybe the coming one if leaders allow so you push a lot of content. If you check off most of the things in uh, America, they're using a lot of content marketing. You can even listen to an advert for one hour. I think you've seen those Glomel and Verimark adverts, which play on a Sunday morning. I don't watch TV anymore. And that advert will go like 30 minutes, but because it's got a lot of content, how to shape your body. This one was like this, now it's like this. So that's the type of content which we need to be using. Um, can we have two people saying something and then we wrap up, guys? Uh, in fact, not wrap up, we hang up. Uh, hello, 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 my leader. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, say your name and talk. Yeah. Uh, it's Gustavo, Gustavo Joseph. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything with regard to the presentation because I arrived late. Right. Immediately I arrived, you were just saying, uh, no, the meeting is already, you are already done with the meeting. So I just wanted to ask uh, this question with, uh, with regard to the Facebook. Right. Uh, I've got a problem with my Facebook. There are no uh, many likes there. I don't know the reason why. Uh, the other thing, when I go into my Facebook page, and then it you used to say boost your page, so as you attract uh, so many uh, viewers. Immediately I touch the button, and then the button says 
how much are you paying? And then uh, what does it mean there? And then it indicates that I must uh, choose the amount, whether I will be paying daily or monthly and so on and so on. What does okay. it mean there? Oh, 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 all right, yeah. Well, that topic we covered some other day, but just one minute. Um, then we have one person again to talk and we, we finish. Uh, okay. When it says money, uh, Facebook is making money now with you posting your page. And when you are posting your page, uh, Linda, Linda, Linda Matandis was talking about having a target market. So now if you are posting, you need... Like imagine you post your page and then you are promoting um, a pro lady and by mistake, maybe you selected men. So you need yeah. a target market. If you're promoting a pro lady, you look at the age group from this age to that age. And then thereafter, you always also select an area. You can actually select even a country to say, okay, I want to post it in Nigeria, then in Nigeria, in Abuja, or Nigeria in... Um, uh, what's the other city? I'm forgetting it. Or you're posting it here in South Africa, but you want to post it in Cape Town. You understand? Okay. Yeah. So that's what it means. And then you can uh, pay maybe 50 rand a day or 30 rand a day. When you do that, it actually shows you um, the number of prospects or number of people that can see that advert. So maybe okay. 2,000 people a day or 2,000 a day or 5,000 a day depending on the amount which you've selected, then you can post. But posting is also, it's okay if you've got the correct content, but otherwise it may be a problem. Then the other thing which you can do, like what we are saying now, just get us and others and the people that you know to come and be liking your page. Then yeah. anyone who's coming in will see there's two likes and then there'll be the third one, then fourth one, then before you know it, you've got 100 likes. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Lida Nathan. Okay. Yes, coach, how are you doing? Oh, wonderful. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you, man. Okay, so uh, what, I wanted, what I wanted to talk about was the, the Facebook uh, posts, okay? Yeah. Uh, what, uh, some advice I can actually give you, you guys have a lot of people in Power Life at the moment all should actually get together and like each other's pages, like each other's posts, and also create some content in the comment box. So what will happen there, there will be a lot of comments. So people will see some activity. You know, people scroll past dead posts, but when they see a whole lot of comments and a whole lot of likes, they tend to mm -hmm. see what is this all about. So in order to actually get more attention on your post you guys got to work together as a team to start off the post call it uh, you can get a couple of friends call them your facebook post friends or whatever and then have a whatsapp group okay then what a person does is he, he puts his post link into that group and say guys i just posted something help me out here Go and say how amazing the products is. Go and say how awesome this whole business is. And before you know it, a lot of people will be reading this and will then tend to change their mind because they've been scrolling past your posts all the time. Okay? okay. They, they've seen yeah. it being dead. Okay? But they, they, they just carried on to the next and they'll go to the jokers. And, you know, you can put a photo of yourself and your kids and whatever the case may be, they'll have 100 likes or 3,000 likes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But once it comes to business, the guys just act like Stevie Wonder. They go right past it. So <laughs> what you got to do is make sure that your, your business <laughs> posts, okay, have yeah. a lot of comments and likes. Because that's when people will be attracted to it to say, "Hey, what is this power life?" You know, mm. and don't just talk about don't just talk about the products all the time. Don't just talk about the the you know talk about your your how you actually uh, benefited from this whole power life program. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot. Yes. Of, there's a lot of uh, power off. You know, like you get the power of the mind. You get the power of knowledge you get the power of keep it like that and always be posting where there's a power life logo so people will actually see it not only are they concentrating on the brand they're also con concentrating on you as a person okay so yes. when 
You know, like Zig Ziglar saying, help people get what they want. They will give you what you want. So if you are mm. tending to uh, show them that you can help them, assist with all areas of their life, not just the health and the wealth, they will follow you. You get what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so I think that's the best way that you can actually do it. If you start with that and get the team together and start liking each other's posts and start commenting on each other's posts, you will get a lot more people. Okay. Thank you so much, Lita Nathan. I mean, that was a mouthful and very powerful. Mm, mm. Uh, I like yeah. what Nathan is saying because, Bright, if I remember very well, these are some of the things that you always encourage us, even in the group, to say we must always support each other as Power Life members. Whenever a person is posting, you know, we need to do some likes and comments just so that people can see that we are all in the same business. You know, I like those ideas that you are putting forth. Yeah. They're very, 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 yeah. Very helpful. Yeah. Pointers. Thank you very much, King. Thank okay. you very much, King Nathan. Yeah, I also agree with um, what he said when he says, you know, people look for activities in, in posts so we mm. cannot overemphasize that uh, much because even with me, when I scroll through, when I see a, a post, even if I'm not interested in, I'm not following that person much or what they do or whatever. But the minute I see 100 likes, 140 likes, you know, I get curious. What is, what is, what is this person talking about today? So I get in and then I, I check and then I, I leave a comment. So those likes will attract, I'm telling you, will attract attention from other people. So let's keep on supporting one another. Let's keep on, uh, you know, doing it, uh, doing it forward. Because as uh, Coach Bright was saying yesterday, to say sometimes it's very discouraging to always like other people's posts and they don't return the favor. You know, it's not by, it's not a uh, based on favor per se but it is you know ubuntu you know to you know to say it's bright is always there for me i'm there mm. you know mm. Yeah. Mm. yes and and supporting one another as team power life because we mm. all have to succeed in this power life we are all responsible for taking a power life to the next level so your success is, is, is of utmost importance to me. My success should be of utmost importance to you. We are not competing against each other, but we are, you know, working towards the same uh, common goal, seeing a power life at the top. And we are the only people that can put it to the, that can put it to the height that we want to see there. So let's go out there and practice what we preach and, as we learn every day, let's implement. And if there's anything that you see your brother doing or your fellow teammate doing, don't be shy to, you know, on the side to caution them to say, hey, be careful there, you know. That is how we can grow, you know, when we are yes. truthful and transparent with one another. Mm. Okay. Oh, thank you, Dovgat. Sindor, you didn't talk today. Let us know why you quiet. Uh, let me come no, back I'm to you. I'm telling leadership. Sometimes you need to keep quiet and um and listen. You know, sometimes uh listening is also a skill, eh? Yeah? Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, there was someone who was talking. <laughs> Not taking photos. Uh, sorry, 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 guys, sorry, guys. It's myself. <laughs> okay, welcome, sir. No, I was saying sorry. Oh, okay. I, 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 yeah, I was just uh, trying to tell somebody else that you must just wait. I'm still in a meeting. All right. I'm oh. sorry for that. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay um, sir. All right, leadership. Uh, good afternoon, my leaders. Uh, when it comes to the branding. Afternoon, Cinder. Okay. When it comes to the branding, um. I think it takes us to be the faces or uh, the face of the company if you brand yourself as uh, like Power Life, right? There are certain people whereby when the Power Life started, 
uh, they were the first people to advertise the business and stuff like that. So um, what else? there are certain people that will be following you for maybe five months to six months or even a year before they can say, you know what, I'm now coming into your business because they check on the consistency. But if you are branding yourself today as company A, tomorrow company B, uh, the following day, uh, you, know, you know what I mean, uh, four different companies within a month, you are confusing your prospects or the people that are like thinking, oh, with the in-network marketing, it is going to work out for them. So and so is doing it and has been in that company B for that uh, particular time and she is winning. So okay. what I can advise is yes, if you have ended yourself as power life, these other things you can do it underground so that whoever you don't know who is watching, most of our prospects they are very, very sensitive. You know, uh, they just follow you, follow you uh, to a certain extent to, to say, you know what, now I'm coming to join. Uh, power life under Sindo. But if tomorrow I'm advertising another company, those people, they are very, very sensitive. They won't come to you. They'll go and follow another person. And then three months down the line, you feel hurt if you see the person that you expected to join the business under you, but that person has joined under somebody else. So that's what I wanted to share. Okay, thank you so much, uh, leaders. Thank you very much for attending. This session is recorded for quality control purposes. So you're going to get it. Um, we'll meet again next Sunday, same time, 3 p.m. Bye. Uh, thank, thank you, you Coach. Thank you. Thank you. We're looking, we're looking forward to the content. OK, thank definitely. You. It's coming in the next 30 minutes. OK. okay. No, the, the next one, the content branding. Oh, the content for the next training. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. So,